Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do the detailed camera review of the new mid-range smartphone from Nokia, the Nokia 7.2 with triple rear camera. The Nokia 7.2 was announced at the EFI 2019 and now it's available in India for a price starting 18600 and it comes with triple rear cameras. So let's find out how the camera performs in the price segment it is being offered. In terms of the camera hardware, it sports a triple ray camera with 48 megapixel size optics and a primary camera sensor is a Samsung's GM1 sensor with a stop 1.8 aperture and there is also a secondary 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a third 5 megapixel depth sensor. There is also an LED flash included. The front camera is a 20 megapixel uh, shooter again with size optics and f2.2 aperture. So let's find out how the camera performance is in this price segment when compared with the competition. First step, the daylight captures. From the daylight shots, you can see that the 48 megapixel camera offers good clarity for the price segment. There is also good amount of details and sharpness levels are also impressive. The colors are quite good, but at times it does look a bit vivid, but it doesn't oversaturate and it looks pleasing most of the times. The phone also comes with auto HDR mode, which works pretty well and the dynamic range is also pretty impressive. The phone also comes with 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and the performance is quite decent. While the colors are good, the sharpness levels are not as good as the primary camera and it often looks soft in terms of the details, but it is still very much usable. The colors are also quite different from the main camera though. Looking at the close up shots, you can see that the phone does a pretty good job with close up images. The details and sharpness levels are also impressive. Next, the portrait shots. Here you can see that the images looks quite good and offers good sharp portrait photos. The HD detection in portrait shots are also good but a bit inconsistent here. Also the background blur feels a bit too artificial at times and there is also no option to change the blur level. Moving to the low light images, the phone has f1.8 aperture and it produces decent results in indoor lighting conditions. In extremely low light conditions, you can still see a lot of noise. While details are good, the sharpness levels are quite low. The phone has a night mode on offer which works quite well with sharp images and plenty of details on offer. But again, we have seen better night, night modes on other smartphones in this price segment. So this is the 4K Ultra HD camera sample taken with uh, the Nokia 7.2. Uh, while it has uh, 4K recording, there is no uh, stabilization offered for the 4K sample and stabilization is limited only to the 1080p sample. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and uh, also the audio output from the 4K sample on the Nokia 7.2. So this is the video recording taken using the rear camera on the Nokia 7.2. It can record videos both in 1080p resolution as well as uh, 4K Ultra HD. So this has been recorded uh, in uh, 1080p resolution. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the video. So this is the ultra wide angle camera sample taken with uh, the 8 megapixel wide angle camera. So it also supports uh, electronic image stabilization uh, similar to the rear camera that's the primary camera so here also you can see that uh, the video looks stabilized but there is no 4k recording available for the ultra wide angle camera so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and uh, also the audio quality from the wide angle camera finally the selfie experience the 20 megapixel selfie camera performance uh, was quite good most of the time the images have good details and they are sharp as well the colors are also vibrant but it is in oversaturated. Since selfies are more of a personal choice, you would leave it to your viewers to decide on the quality. The phone also comes with portrait mode for selfies and here again it is quite good with edge detection. So 
So this is the front facing camera sample taken with uh, the Nokia 7.2 So it can record videos in uh, 1080p resolution uh, So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the front camera on the Nokia 7.2 so summing up, how does the camera on the 7.2 stack up with the competition? While the camera performance is good in daylight and close-up shots, it is slightly disappointing in low-light conditions even with the Zeiss optics. The video quality looks overall good with 4K and 1080p being offered and the wide-angle camera is also being offered. We feel Nokia should be fine-tuning the camera algorithm with a software update to make it better especially in low-light conditions. So what do you guys think about the camera? Do share in your thoughts on the same in the comment section. So this is Nimal signing off with the camera review of the Nokia 7.2. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.